Hello, welcome to Botanical Woman. I'm Christine. Today we're going to repot my Monstera Addisonii. I highly recommend this plant. I love the fenestrations, aka the holes. It makes it very unique and it lives up to its common name, the Swiss cheese plant. And to top it off, it's really easy to care for. I've had this plant for over six months and the vines have doubled in length. I've been meaning to repot it for a couple of months now, as the bottom leaves have continued to yellow. I have a few suspicions of why this is happening. It started yellowing at the end of the summer, so maybe less sunlight contributed to this, but it's not likely. Anyway, I have supplemented with artificial lights to help get it through the winter. Another thing is, I haven't been staying on top of my watering so I've been probably letting it dry out too much, and that, I would say, directly correlates to more yellowing leaves. My question is, what started it to begin with? I suspect that the medium it is currently in has very little nutrients, so I'm hoping this repot will give it what it needs. The only other thing I can think of is that it was over-fertilized, but all the fertilizers I use are organic, so I feel like it's not likely. Not to mention that I use less than half of the recommended dosage. Trying to figure out what's wrong with your plant is like solving a mystery. If you have any other thoughts on this, I would love to hear from you. As a golden rule, change one thing at a time so you can see the effect before changing another factor. You know, kind of like conducting a science experiment. Aside from the yellowing leaves, it has been a very easy plant to care for. I gave it a substantial haircut when I first got it, and it's now doubled in length over the course of six months. It doesn't demand high humidity, and like all my other Monsteras, it's happy with Seattle tap water. I water when the topsoil is dry to the touch and use organic fertilizer during the summer. I've been hesitant to add a moss pole for it to climb because I really prefer the vines to hang instead. However, to my knowledge, this plant, like many other aeroids, are a lot happier if they're allowed to climb upwards. Let me know if your Addisonia is on a moss pole and it's loving it. I really hope it will be happy with this new medium and it won't go into shock too much. I will keep you posted on its progress. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy growing.